So once that building is completed next year, they'll certify that height and it will officially become the new third tallest building in the city. It will also be the tallest building in the world designed by a female architect. Mm -hmm. Yep, her name, Jeannie Gang, she's a Chicago designer, one of my favorites. And this design actually kind of bends and curves almost a series of hourglass-like forms. And it's a little harder to see at night, but those yeah, so curves are highlighted here. by different shades of blue glass. That's why I got so cool and windows that kind of overlap cool. in series and underlap. So it's definitely a building that can stand out differently depending on the time of day, whether it's dark or lighter. Also, just the angle of the sun, how it hits it. So if you saw it, you know, maybe an hour ago, you would have seen those dramatic shadows, which we still got a little bit on there. So as I said, Vista is going to be a hotel and condo building. They started construction back in 2016. Said so sometime next year it should be finished. So really one of the new stars of this tour. Now, Vista does have an address here on Wacker Drive. That's this multi-level roadway that's going to be with us through a lot of the tour. Uh, mostly two levels. Over here it does reach three. Now, they started building it back in the 1920s. The idea. Upper level, car and pedestrian traffic. Lower level, trucks, through traffic, trash pickup, deliveries. Lower Wacker Drive also became a great place to film movie car chases. Blues Brothers, Dark Knight, they're racing in some underground world, typically down there. Now keep looking to the left, set back there, you'll see that building with those curved white balconies, the Aqua Tower. From 2009, designed by Jeannie Gang. Same architect? Of the new Vista Tower. That was Gang's first skyscraper. It's about oh. 10 years old now. Oh. And if you're looking at it, just notice the way those balconies kind of bend in and out from each other. They wrap around the edges. So not only does that look nice from down here, it gives you some really nice views from the building itself. Whether you have a condo there, or you stay in the hotel in the lower levels, you get unique angles of the city just by the uniqueness of each balcony. And the Aqua Tower won a couple of awards when it premiered in 09. I would not be surprised if her new Vista Tower wins a few as well. All right, now turn your attention in front of us to the second tallest building in Chicago, the Trump International Hotel and Tower from 2009. Over 1,300 feet with that spire on the top, 98 stories. And it has some unique design features. First of all, setbacks where it kind of gets thinner as it rises. Well the first setback lines up the main structure of the white building to its right. Whereas the third setback lines up that black building to its left. Also it has kind of a silver blue reflective color scheme. That's a transition between the white and black on either side. So the architect of the Trump Tower, Adrian Smith, he describes that as contextual design. It's built in context to what came before. And it is mixed-use hotel, condos, and some retail space in the lower levels. 